Hello and welcome to the 30th video in this series Programming Simple Flappy Robin for Android using Cocos 2 dx So this video is going to be quite a simple one that then from the last video remember we had the save and load settings to and from disk and now we just need to write our functions to then move in the next video onto the Java layer So first of all we'll have extern, uh, sorry not get, in extern void set and call it music volume and the JNI and then that'll take an integer with the volume and a bit of naughty co co copy and paste so we want to get our music volume J and I which obviously won't return uh, take a volume as an argument it'll be returning the volume and let's just paste these two here and call it effects and effects so if you can already guess what's coming up, then just uh, install the code, just just take the code, download and copy and paste it, and see you in the next video because we've covered all this stuff already in the tutorial part of the JNI section. I'll just put the brackets in here and remove the extern keyword. One thing I will say is I can't remember from the videos where we looked at some examples of JNI whether uh, exactly which JNI functions are still left in the code and which aren't. So if, you've, if I've got fewer functions here than you have from the examples, don't worry about it because the only functions that will be important from now on are these setters anyway and the call my Java toast JNI which will eventually be changed to say a new game started rather than sending values. But we'll clean all that, uh, that up later on anyway. So let's remove the externs off here then. Okay, and now we need to well we need to return an integer in these two here, and that's something that we haven't done in any of the functions up here, but we'll get to. But first of all, we can take this schematic that we have already, which is the taking an integer and uh, calling a void function with it, and drop it in here. And I can also drop that in here, and tab back. And now I'm just going to copy and paste the method signatures so that everything is correct and we'll be calling these inside the JNI helper class anyway so we have exactly the same structure here nothing really changes and that's those set up so now we want to look at the return the functions that return an integer and that's very slightly but not completely different so first of all Let's just cover up the names here so we have the names correctly and we'll just change things uh, bit by bit. So the first thing we have in here is what's called a jint and we'll set that as to equal to zero. That's going to be our return value, an integer from Java. And when we return this, we'll cast this. The structure here obviously doesn't take anything as an argument and is an integer return type. Here we'll just return five in the case of this but usually the application will actually have crashed before we actually get there and now what we want to do is set our return value equal and now we're taking a, we're calling a static int method like so and this time we don't have an argument to actually put into the method like this so that's actually all we need to do there to get our return value and then last but not least we then need to obviously return our value which we then just cast to an integer like so and last but not least, I set this to the effects volume and just tab that backwards. And that's it. I'm just going to call build on this and make sure I haven't made any typing errors. And this might be the shortest video that we've had for a while and I have made an error. So it's a good job of called build. Just build again. It hasn't saved the file. <laughs> Save and build again. Oh, and that still hasn't built. Why hasn't that built this time? Because I had an error up here as well. Whoops, this is a little bit sloppy. I've forgotten to change the uh, the num for vol. And in fact, now I've realized that I've also taken that out of here and I shouldn't have done. Sorry about that. I'll just save and build again. Okay, that's built without area, errors. Just to reiterate that, set music volume takes in the volume, should have a volume here as an argument. The get doesn't have an argument, so there's no argument here. 
the set effects vol has a gen vol as an argument here, and the get effects vol has nothing on the end here. I'm sorry about that that I made those mistakes there, but um, it's not world ending. Okay, then, so that's it for this video. There's actually nothing to show. There's no point installing the application and showing you the console because nothing's really changed. But in the next video, then, we'll move into actually using these functions when we save our settings via the Java layer. So thanks very much for watching and comments, questions, criticisms. Welcome, as always, on YouTube.